Good afternoon on what is a cool, grey and changeable uh, day. It is Sunday the 16th of January. I am back in the Reading Nook uh, with a nice hot cup of tea. And some parcels. Um, and the next one I'm going to grab is out of this box. And it is, let's have a look. Um, some little things in here. Let's just grab these. Let's grab these little things here. Um, um, and it is Darkest Dungeons. And darkest devils. Um, I don't know whether you may be aware. Um, let's have a look. Um, but, um, yeah, uh, this is. These are parodies um, of uh, the tracks by Jack Chick. Um, back in the back in the eighties, um, there was a moral uh, panic about a number of things in the United States. And it filtered a bit over here to the UK, but only very slightly. Um, but there were moral panics about the contents of your um, rock records, and uh, whether that was heavy metal or um, uh, um, the other genres, um, hip hop or whatever, um, or, the, you know, um, or rap and so on. And also about um, the content of your uh, role-playing games um, uh, because particularly Dungeons and Dragons Dungeons and Dragons was a huge big role-playing game and it still is but back then you would think uh, Advanced Dungeons and Dragons first edition uh, that had demons and devils in it and uh, the whole suggestion was that you essentially you had the monster manual oh it's a manual of monsters oh gosh it must be a manual for summoning monsters especially because obviously obviously if you have a look through the player's handbook you've got the summoning spells you could summon demons and devils and things uh, and so therefore this wasn't a game at all it was a primer for summoning demons and devils and and cod's wallet was it of course let's be clear about that it, you know um unless there's a whole secret history which we don't know about um uh, to the main aim of dungeons and dragons was was to, was to as a to entertain and b well okay um, essentially was was to sell things you know okay a big product to, 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 to its audience and make money for the owners because it's a business but also to entertain and nothing more but uh, writers like Jack Chick and um, would put out a whole series of pamphlets um, about the dangers of Dungeons and Dragons and where it would take you I sort of like you know oh it seemed all so innocent poor Susie yes Susie uh, you know it um, um, you know, I decided to go around with my friends and play Dungeons and Dragons, and um, I find myself in a demonic ritual, and um, uh, and I pl found myself pledging my soul to the Dark Lord, um, Satan, because of um, um, uh, because of that. Um, you know, I am now a Satanist. Whereas, okay, so you can still find them. I've got a bunch that reprints because some people you basically, um, if you ever go to the, conti the, the Continuum, somebody has already got a bunch of them to. to um, to give away because they're funny um but okay so what we have somebody put it did some parodies here so you know background just last month debbie L L Elstar and marcy and evandale joined the secret covenant which is the temple of diana taking the names elstar and blackleaf um so because of her ineptitude um blackleaf um marcy was thrown out of the group and was in such despair that she became um uh, possessed by the term um Terra Demus Demon. The demon possessing is passing itself as her own spirit because convinced it would help her fulfill her potential and regain the favour of the coven. The coven. Um, and uh, so, so, for the GM, Darkest Dungeons is a short one shot dungeon for three, uh, three or five characters of 5th or 7th level. Utilises monsters and lore from the Darkest and de Demons and dark, Darkest Trebles tracks and includes monsters highlighted in bold whose stats can be found in common game manuals. So, this is essentially it's a Dungeons and Dragons scenario. Which, in in the same format as the Jack tr uh, Chick tracks, um, but really amounts to just a few pages. So I'll show you the other one in a minute. Um, 
Right, uh, so, there go. And they're very, full, very small, very silly. Um, you'll see this is just the two of them. Uh, and we've got um, the, uh, the cemetery, uh, and investigating the Evanvale family. Very short adventures. You can basically just play these in presumably one one session or so. And we get to Elstar's home uh, and the Temple of Diana, Diana and the Altar Room. Uh, okay, and then at the end we have um, Undead Blackleaf. Um, just to show you. And the player characters will face a uh, a complicate the complications and so on to say very silly you, you know it is taking the uh taking the mickey out of this 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 whole threat this whole fear um but, uh, yeah so that's darkest dungeons and the other one is darkest devils um but, uh, this is published by a spooky monkey design and studio um but, uh, Devils on it, the chaos of the demons are insidiously lawful. By their pact of the heavens, they not they can only claim souls willingly given. It's not too unusual though for a devil to try to claim the soul through coercion or nefarious means. In dark places been beneath the notice of the golds, many a soul has been tortured from a soft and pliant mortal by another by nefarious purposes. Uh, okay, really just Looking over at this, at, uh, so really got a bit of a description of a, D, a, a, a devil there, or registered brain to your game, um, and you've got basically collections of them in here, really just a couple of stats, but this is a book of mini stats of, of de devils and demons for your game, but again done in that style. Um, that um, you know, at least the format of the Jack Trick, Jack Chick tracks. Um, so yeah, uh, you know, um, you know, like um, Franz Tika Zaz, uh, Handsome Devil, the Lords of the Sukubai and the Yukubai, the Handsome Devils, command an impressive array of tempters and temptations. So yeah, um, you and you can use this with with, with the choice of the, the retro clone of your choice, and it's all using um, commercially available artwork. So um, let's just see if there is anything. Are there any of the others in here? I'm just going to check. This. I don't know how many little books there are because there were several. Um... Oh yeah, there is a third. There is a third. Um, good. So let's let's have a look at that. Darkest Demons. Uh, and this is essentially, this is, this is, um, uh, Darkest Devils. Darkest Dungeons, that's the adventure, and you've got the Darkest Demons, which is the, the source book for uh, demons in your play. Um, and if you want more of these Devils and Demons in your game, uh, I'd recommend there's a really good uh, source book that um, Green Ronin published, uh, certainly for third edition, uh, and then later on they've collated all of the, uh, with, with great artwork by Torrin Atkinson, and they collated those for fifth edition, and it's a really good source book on that, if that's what you want in your game, if you're happy with that. Um, so, demons are entities of pure chaos, they are not bound by the laws of man, physics or existence. They are creatures spawned of the intense evil despair or other extreme unhealthy emotion who inhabit or possess intelligent creatures and use them to manifest their true forms into the physical world. Um, so, yep, Bellastrade demon. Um, so these really are, these are more, more also essentially that these are not jit track, jack chick tracks, but essentially they are inspired by them and they're using the format to, um, uh, to, to basically provide contact. And we've got a conglomerax, a con, I can't read that, uh, conglomerax demon. 
um, and, uh, then um, a, Pret a Protesius demon and that's a really familiar piece of artwork that, that's appeared that, that's used in quite a number of different places it's quite a popular one so you've got three little books booklets here um, Darkest Demons Darkest Devils and Darkest Dungeons um, three little booklets done in the, in the style or at least in the format of the Jack Trick Jack Chick tracks um, if you've not seen those do track these down these I think these are these are a nice little joke um, uh, bits of oh, it's silliness um, the main problem with essentially is uh, they're a bit obviously they're small and they could easily get lost um, but you know uh, keep them together keep them safe I'm probably I'm going to find some zip, a zip bag to put these in to keep them safe um, but um, yeah uh, if you're going to take you you know if you're going to take the Mickey out of these, I mean obviously not the, you haven't been done as a cartoon strip, but why not? Um, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this unboxing in the nook. If you have, uh, please do click the like button down below, and of course, um, if you've got any comments or feedback, I appreciate you taking the time to post those. And lastly, if you want to be alerted to yet more unboxings in the nook, where you'll see me with a box and um, it's just uh, some books or games which I will unbox and um, chat about to the best extent of my knowledge for roughly 10 minutes or so. Um, all of course accompanied by, in this case, just a nice hot cup of tea. Oh, damn it. Oh, by the devil's beard, it's cold. Um, uh, then please do click, the, uh, um, you know, uh, click that subscribe button down below. Once again, uh, thanks for w uh, watching another unboxing in the nook. If you've enjoyed this, please do uh, basically, well, you know, sorry, click the like button, do the subscribe thing. I'm, I'm getting tired and carried away. Uh, hopefully not the effect of the cold tea. I'm going to go and have a nice hot cup of tea. Thanks again for watching. We'll be back again soon with another unboxing in the nook. Bye for now.